You are now listening to Rings Kings Boxing World. What's up, family? Now rocking with Ring Kings Boxing World. I'm Big Q chiming on this episode of Ring Kings Boxing. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and feel free to share the stream on your social media. As we get into this one, Canelo Alvarez going full blooded at Ryan Garcia saying Garcia is a little kid who has accomplished nothing. So, you know, he's talking and <laughs> these guys obviously must have fell out on something. But this is coming at us uh, from a bad left hook drop in the scoop. Mr. Scott Christ on the bills. Uh, and, and what's interesting is, uh, you know, Canelo Alvarez for a little bit was, you know, Ryan Garcia was operating and running with Canelo Alvarez. As you can see the footage right here. Canelo's giving him some game, uh, showing him footwork and jabs and and uh, showing him a little fainting and showing him how to position himself. So as you can see, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, he was in his camp with him and Canelo was trying to uh, show him some game, box with him, sparred with him, did some stuff, uh, some interesting stuff prior to the Golovkin fight. Now Canelo Alvarez has made it clear his feelings about uh, Triple G ahead of their September the 17th trilogy clash, displaying a level of disdain for his opponent we rarely see from him of head of fights now the mexican superstar will defend his undisputed super middleweight crown against triple g in that fight also had a bit to say about ryan garcia who formerly trained with canelo's camp when speaking with ak and barack on the zone boxing show and he said now based on what he said on his harsh feelings for golovkin he says i dislike the man because i hate the kind of person the one who is uh, one person in front of the people and behind the scenes, he says a lot of bad things. That's it. Nothing happened. I'm good. I'm respectful. I hate that. Now, on whether Triple G has ever hurt him in their fights, no, never. And Triple G's been throwing some power shots on Canelo Alvarez, but he has a pretty good chin. On whether being too aggressive makes him vulnerable, you need to use your brain to be smart, but I really want to knock him out. You need to use it in your way, calm but hungry. He says on passing on the Bivol rematch to do the Triple G fight fight, which was interesting. He said the day after the fight, I told Eddie Hearn, I want Bivol rematch for September. I wanted it. And he said, we have this contract with the zone and with Triple G's already signed it, too. It's a lot of trouble. But now I'm 100 percent focused on Golovkin and I have a mission in my mind. So you yeah, am talking about uh, handling up on Triple G and all that kind of stuff and What's intriguing about the fight, man, is the fact that, um, you know, me personally, I didn't think that uh, this would happen. I didn't think that Canelo Alvarez would actually do a uh, third fight with Triple G. I really didn't think this fight would, would happen. And I guess uh, because of the contract kind of forced uh, Canelo into it. So anyway, let's get to the rest of the stuff, man, that has something to do with Ryan Garcia. And of course, when asked about the fight, who wins it? Garcia, Ryan Garcia picked Triple G to win. Uh, he says he's just mad at me because he's no longer on the team. He's always going to be against us no matter what. But he's a little kid. This is Canelo. You need to understand him. He needs to learn a lot of things. My advice for him is just do your job. Focus on your career. Win a world championship first. Then talk about other people because you accomplished nothing. And you start talking about fighters who have accomplished a lot. When I was 20 years old, I was a world champion. Wow. Canelo letting him have it with both, with both barrels, right? He says, you can call out everybody and talk, but at the end of the day, you're doing nothing. We need to understand him. He's no longer with Canelo team, so he's going to talk shit about us. It's fine, but you need to remember how much Eddie um, Reynoso did for him. A lot of things. He and his father still owe uh, money to Eddie, and Eddie don't say anything because he don't need it. But it's not right. He's talking shit about everything in the camp. He came to my gym. We showed him love. We supported him. And he goes and says, whatever, when a person is ungrateful, it's one of the worst things he can be. And of course, whether or not he still roots for Garcia. Yeah, of course. Why not? I'm not jealous of anything. I wish all the best for him. And on whether Garcia can beat Javante Tank Davis, I don't think so. Not yet. If he puts his mind in the box and tries to learn, he can do a lot of things. He has talent. So there it goes. And a lot and, and the underlining uh, commentary that was made was my advice to Ryan Garcia is just do your job focus on your career and win a world championship first and then talk about other people because you've accomplished nothing start very stern and hardcore uh, commentary coming from the champ Canelo Alvarez toward uh, Ryan Garcia and listen 
I got to agree with the champ on this one when you're talking about um, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is a very talented young fighter, but he still has a lot to learn. He got good. He has good speed. He has good power too. Uh, you see Luke drop his ass in in the uh, the last fight that he had with him, and the last meaningful fight anyway. But as you can tell, when we talk about Ryan Garcia, he's trying to talk his way into a title fight as opposed to doing the work getting in the in the gym and fighting whoever's next up and kind of fighting your way into contention he's trying to kind of talk his way into it and and people see that i know tank davis made mention of it. remember tank said something about it too he's trying to talk his way into a title fight uh and guys are not interested and that was a really stern comment when Can canelo threw out there the fact that when he was 20 years old he was already a world champion so Man, it's a lot. Garcia, get on your game, man, and, and get your shit right, man. Stop talking all that shit and start getting your fight game ready, bro, and uh, fight your way. Start working on some good fights, man, and fight your way in, into contention uh, for a title shot. So that's uh, Canelo's Elvarez advice to Ryan Garcia, and that's my advice to Ryan Garcia. And that'll be the end of the show. And let before I go, let me put this on you guys' minds. Y'all tell me what you think about it. Do you agree with Canelo Alvarez about Ryan Garcia that he's a little kid that has accomplished nothing? Uh, do you, uh, uh, you know, you do you agree with Canelo's uh, stern uh, assessment of them owing them money? And so far as being ungrateful, it appears to be. I got to rock with Canelo on this one, man. But uh, he's right. Uh, what do you think? Do you think uh, Canelo's right or do you side with Ryan Garcia? Y'all tell me in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about these comments. Anyway, that'll do it for the show. Much love to the fam. Thank y'all for uh, hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, and also sharing Ring Kings Boxing on your social media as well. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Subscribe now and make Ring Kings Boxing your source for all the latest fight news. Perfect. Perfect.